if you've spent much time at all wandering the Sea of Thieves, the chances are you will have found yourself being stared down by a big spooky cloud in the shape of a skull, its eyes flashing menacingly and yet somewhat alluringly across the seas. If, like me, you've decided to head over by yourself in a little sloop and see what all the fuss is about, you'll know that these clouds mark the location of forts in the game world, and that these strongholds are very deadly indeed. Determined to have my revenge, I went back in with a couple of friends and found myself in the midst of a fight both tougher and more rewarding than anything I've yet experienced in Sea of Thieves. If you have the strength and the courage to see a fort assault through to the end, you'll wind up with one of the greatest treasure troves this game has to offer. So while it's worth noting that this is a video based off just one fort and that others may differ, here's a general rule on how to go about taking down a stronghold. Sorry for the lack of in-game audio in this video by the way, only I was in voice chat, my own voice didn't record, and well, we were doing quite a lot of swearing. So first things first, make sure your ship is well stocked because you're going to need bananas aplenty but most importantly you're going to need every cannonball and wooden plank you can get your hands on. Second, crew up. You're going to want a galleon for this, preferably with a crew of four. It's doable with three as I found out for myself but any fewer than that and your chances of success are going to be seriously hampered. Once your supplies are stocked and ready, it's time to set sail and follow that cloud. Be prepared for a long voyage, however, because these things appear from a long way away and you might have quite a distance to cover. When you arrive at the fort, your first and most pressing concern is the cannon fire coming from the towers. There are quite a few of these and while they won't stand much chance of hitting you on the initial approach, you can expect to take quite a pounding as you get closer to land. Take these out with your cannons as quickly as possible. While you're doing this, try to position the ship near a bit of the coast with some beach and a path. You're going to need this later. Once the main bulk of the cannon towers have been dealt with, keep half your crew members on the ship to return fire and patch up any holes, sending the rest in to take down any operational towers your cannons can't reach. Once that's done, you'll be in a good position, but bear in mind that the towers may be manned again by enterprising skeletons further down the line. Keep an eye out as you continue to assault the fort. While taking down the fort, the single most important thing is to keep your ship afloat. It's basically a mobile spawn point, so while it survives, you effectively have an endless trickle of pirates to throw at the ramparts. And believe you me, you're going to need them. For the rest of the assault, keep at least one person on the ship to maintain that lifeline and continue manning the cannons. The rest should grab all the bananas they can carry and head ashore. If you didn't manage to drop your anchor near some beach during the initial assault, do it now and make sure the cannons have a good line of sight on that beach and that everybody ashore knows how to get there swiftly. The assault on the fort itself is a series of waves of skeletons, each announced by a horn blast. Another wave. There are lots and lots and lots of these, so steal yourself for a lengthy fight. In the initial waves, you'll find yourself facing your common garden variety skeletons, albeit in considerably greater numbers, so watch you don't get surrounded and deal with them much as you have before. During these first waves, be sure to make note of any gunpowder barrels you can find lying about the place, as well as any supplies like bananas. Move the explosives to an easily accessible location if you can, but try your best not to use them just yet. There are tougher enemies on the way, and you'll need them for those. If you find yourself getting overwhelmed, kite a string of them down to the beach, where your ship's cannons will make short work of them. As the waves advance, you'll encounter a few different skeleton types that can make life extremely difficult. The first, and indeed the worst, of these are metal skeletons comprised entirely of treasure. Each one can take an astonishing amount of damage, so going blade to blade with each of these is likely to end in tears. 
Luckily, they have one critical weakness, and that is water. Throwing a bucket of water over one of these skeletons will slow them drastically for a few seconds, but better yet, they can be kited into shallow bodies of water like pools, where they'll find themselves bunched up and vulnerable. Remember those gunpowder barrels? Now is the time. Throw one of these into the middle of a pool, and when it's good and surrounded, shoot it. Yeah, motherfucker! If you run out of barrels, you'll have to resort to blades and shot as per normal, but as long as these skeletons keep their ankles wet, you should be fine. There are two other skeleton crew types we encountered during the fort assault, the first of which is draped in seaweed. Be wary of these ones as they are extremely fast, boasting a movement and attack speed that can make short work of any pirate left vulnerable. These ones are best kited to the beach and left to the cannons. Indeed, this is a good strategy for all enemy types throughout the assault. The final skeleton type has black bones and glowing blue eyes, and to be honest, after the metal and seaweed skeletons, they didn't seem quite as tough. Continue to kite them to the beach and let the ship's guns do the talking and wait out each successive wave until the boss shows up. Much in the same vein as an Order of Souls contract, you can identify the boss of a fort by a red name over their head and a slightly different appearance. These captains are markedly tougher than they would be ordinarily, mind you, so coordinate your assault and wait for them to fall. Just keep eating those damn bananas. We did it! <laughs> On death, the captain will drop a key. You'll find a door with a glowing skull emblem at the tower's central keep, and you can enter this for some of the game's richest rewards. It's no exaggeration to say you'll need to make multiple trips to cart everything off. There's loads of loot from exotic silks to fine sugars and gold reliquaries. Did I say that right? Best of all, however, you'll find a stronghold chest and a stronghold skull, and both of these will sell for a lot of money. You'll probably be bricking it on the homeward voyage to the nearest outpost, but try and savour the victory and think about the spoils to come. Somewhere in the region of 13,000 gold pieces. <laughs> That's a fancy new compass, a brand new hook hand, and a sovereign hurdy-gurdy to you, my friend. And that is how you assault a fortress in Sea of Thieves. Hopefully you found it useful and managed to take down a couple for yourselves. If you have any tips of your own for assaulting a fort, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll leave you now with a bit more footage from the assault, but we have plenty more video on Sea of Thieves for you to watch, including our very first encounter with the Kraken, and some tips on how to get started. Bye!